In the pest control industry, you often hear that pests bring more pests. And this is often true. However, we also hear that maybe, just maybe, these pests might take care of the current pest you have. Well, there's also a children's book where an old grandma accidentally swallows a fly. And then she swallows a spider to eat the fly but then a cat to eat the spider and then a dog to eat the cat. And it goes on and on and on. Eventually she gets so big that I'm not gonna ruin the story for you. But this is not the case when it comes to pest control. You don't want to invite more bugs in to get rid of the current bugs you have. But every now and again, you start to ask the question, well, what kind of pests do eat other pests? And in this video, we're gonna talk all about bed bugs and their predators. Hi, my name's Keaton with Forterra Pest Control, and let's dive in. Bugs are nasty little creatures that you do not want to get. Now, most people get bed bugs because they hitchhike on their luggage, on their clothes, on their raincoats, umbrellas, whatever it is. Um, typically, the process goes like this, where someone who has bed bugs hops on public transportation, maybe goes down to the library in downtown and sits on a nice, comfy chair. And then you, later in the day, maybe two hours later, you sit in the same spot on that public bus or in the public library, and that bed bug crawls up on top of you and waits until you get home at night to finally crawl off and make its new home. Now, you might take off your clothes and in the bathroom and you're wondering, well, how did they get from the bathroom over into the bedroom? This is because bed bugs are actually surprisingly fast, right? They can zip across the floor and they'll make their way to wherever you are most sed uh, sedentary, meaning they could be on your couch, they could also be in your bed, under your mattress, trying to wait for you to lay down and uh, feast on you, right, for its next meal. So during those movements, right, bed bugs are pretty fast and they can go in between things such as rooms or under cracks and crevices and scurry around, but there are still predators that come after them. And here are the top five bed bug predators. The first one are ants, right? Pharaoh ants are these massive big ants that will actually eat bed bugs. The second one is a bug known as a masked hunter, right? We don't often see these um, because they're, they're really not that common in America, but they are here and they're, they're over in Europe. And these guys will actually come out and eat bed bugs. And of course, for number three, we have spiders. Now spiders will eat a ton of different type of insects and bed bugs are included. However, most spiders will spin their web and wait for an insect to get caught in it before it will go out and eat it, right? So it's not often that spiders actually eat bed bugs, but they do. For four, we have cockroaches. In the battle versus a cockroach and a bed bug, cockroaches will win, but they're kind of sixes. Do you want bed bugs or do you want cockroaches? And definitely if you have bed bugs, do not go get cockroaches to take care of those bed bugs. And that's because bed bugs are really small and oval shaped and they can hide in between some very small crevices. Now, cockroaches can scurry around and hide behind your appliances and stuff like that, but bed bugs can even get a little smaller and hide in a little bit darker and just more obscure places. Plus cockroaches will eat basically anything. So you're gonna have to have like nothing in your house for the cockroach to choose a bed bug, which is a lot harder meal for it to have over the crumbs under your fridge or, or something like that. And number five, we have the centipede. Now centipedes are, they're not that common, right? When they get into the inside, but they're definitely common in your yard. Now centipedes are really, really cool when they actually go hunt bed bugs is because they will attack, right? They don't just like bite it, but they, they have all those little legs, like a hundred legs, right? Centipedes. And they will inject those claws into the bed bug and take them down. So if you guys have bed bugs and you're thinking, do, do I go get cockroaches to eat those bed bugs so I don't have to deal with them? The answer is no, please do not do that. And that's because both bed bugs, cockroaches, spiders, all these other bugs, 
they're just gonna create more problems, right? You're gonna be like that old grandma who just keeps eating more and more and more animals to try to solve her problem. The fastest and most effective way to solve your bed bug infestation, if you have one, is to call a professional pest control company like Forterra. And this is because bed bugs are extremely hard to get rid of. And the real, the true reason why is because they have hatching cycles. So the adults go out and they're eating you, right? Eating on your skin and drinking your blood when you're sleeping at night and they go and lay eggs. And so if you go and you cook your room yourself, you turn up the heater, you open the windows if you live in a very, very, you know, hot, it's hot outside. And um, yeah, you might kill a couple bed bugs with that, but as soon as those eggs hatch, they're back, right? And then those eggs are gonna produce more eggs, right? And so you have to time it just right. And when you're looking for a pest control company to help you with your bed bug problem, you want to make sure that you work with a company that has a guarantee, right? We call ours the Forterra Promise. And that's because when you hire us, we make sure that the reason why you hired us is taken care of. It doesn't matter if it takes literally five times, it's never happened before, but five, 10, 20 times for us to come back out to your home or property to get rid of the problem, uh, we're gonna solve that problem, right? Typically happens in the first time. A um, Couple rare cases happen where it's two, but we will solve your bug problem, especially if it's bed bugs, because we have the Forterra promise. So if you're not in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, maybe you're up in Boise, Idaho, or New York City, look for a local pest control company that has your back and they have a guarantee just like Forterra. Okay guys, I'll see you next time.